I promised you Spy Hunter Cockpit. Uh, what was this, game number nine? Nine or ten. Nine or ten, oh. This is going to Alabama. Going to Alabama. We'll figure that out on the next one. This is the uh, second cockpit we started working on. We have brand new side art on the whole machine. It's covered now, obviously, with the protective stuff, but it, it, it came out really nice. We put red T molding on this baby. Of course, we have it around here. We're going to peel it all off once we get to the customer's house. Monitor. Here's an interesting thing about Spyhunters. They made a ton of these. We don't know an exact number. I couldn't find any production run numbers, but the monitor glass and the front control panel are exactly the same size as the upright. It was very clever of Bally to at least keep that stuff standard. But this glass, this glass, see this has the car, this has the boat, and this bottom panel, these are unique just for this one game. As a matter of fact, I'm going to cut away and show you what happened to another spy hunter. I found this thing at a show. And this poor spy hunter here became a wall decoration. But I didn't do it. Anyway. That's what happened to this. At least the glass is safe. Anyway, let me show you uh, other, some other nice things uh, that we did with this. And then um, we took the boards out and we reflowed solder and all these connectors. You already know that. But look over here. They make this wonderful power supply that replaces the original one, the linear one. Uh, so th this is so much more efficient, used with a switcher, and this is the important thing. On this one game, you have to put a 10,000 microfarad cap across the 12 volt and ground to keep the hum down. Otherwise, the Peter Gunn board will create this hum, and get rid of that hum. And, and I already know somebody responded to that on the last uh, Spy Hunter cockpit. So it's a really nice mod. We took the boards apart and cleaned all the chips. You have to do that now. Here's the logic board, <laughs> the, 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 the G07, that wonderful chassis that has all new parts in it. New boat flyback. Load. Hmm? Boat load of new parts? A boat load of new yeah. parts. Don't forget <laughs> your lines. My boat load of new parts. Cat, cat capacitor here and then also on the board a new resistor. Uh, you got to reflow solder though. I can't stress it enough, especially on the, the steering positioning board here. That has to be done. Uh, the light controller board, this, this, this little board, that actually runs just the light bulbs in the front control panel. And come around front here, and guess what? Our other cockpit game, I happen to have Vince Ferella from Arco Rex. And here he is again. I said, Vince, you gotta come back and test this game for us. I did. Right? We operated these in the early 80s. Oh yeah, yeah, the tell up, us about that. Rights. They're easier to move. And tell us the biggest problem you had. They earn money. Oh, they earn money, yeah, but what was the problem with it? You, you mentioned it. He told me something oh, about yeah. the steering wheel. We had these in a, a private school in Princeton. Just break that wheel, shear the pin off. There was actually a, like a shear pin, like in a propeller of a motor. Games now, the, the wheels just spin. Right. As opposed to that. Yeah, these stop. These have a stopping. There's actually two rubber stoppers in there that stop the thing from bouncing from one side to the other. Right. But really clever stuff. Here are the light bulbs I was talking about. There's five bulbs here and one here. There's four controls on the control panel, but only one works. Mm. Your fire button is the only one that actually runs at first as you pick up different things and each button starts to work. And when you know you have different buttons, they light up on the panel here. Vince. You have a quarter? Now you've got to be really good at this, Vince. After all, you were running these on the ground. I was the best. Now what makes this game nice is four speakers. This sit-down cockpit used a the same Spy Hunter logic board, but the soundboard, the top board, has panning on it. They say, you can always note because the silk screening on the board says, W slash panning, with panning. Only two or three other games used the panning board. Tapper used it, even though that was two speaker stereo. Uh, and the laser disc game, a football laser disc game used it too. I think that was it. You just killed the good guy. Anyway, what's nice about this is the four speakers uh, spread the stereo around. So your back head gets the speakers of the engine running. And the front speakers have the sound of the missiles and the Peter Gunn music. Really, really let's see great can, separation. Let's see if I can, uh, really good stuff. Let's see if he can get on here. Let's yeah. see if I can do this properly. Uh, that wasn't good. 
hells of that fire. That wasn't good. Uh oh, you're about to get your I'm in tire trouble. Slashed. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Where are you? There you are. I'm back here. I'm busy. I'm sorry. What is it, sweet? This is my lovely wife. My lovely. Say wife. hi. Is Todd back here? Yeah. Well, I didn't know. I... All right, let's get back to the video. All right. It's not even crash yet. You need. Oh, she wants money. That's what she wants. Yeah. I also need to know where the white form is for this. It, it's uh, take it's on there the boys have it. Okay, she wants money. Here's a dollar. So this is our copy. My wife is buying that trigger. Son. So this is our copy. Dead. All right, he's trying to get it in now. Smoke. We had to dissolve here. Now Vince is keeping. Oh, hey, yeah. don't get that. How about that? Now it activates another aspect. His smoke screen. Also on the right controls. Is that the right side? Mm -hmm. I forget. Yep, you're right. Yep, there you go. Peter Gunn music, by the way, comes out of all four speakers, left and right. And they, it, it's a great way what they did with this. Well, we're this, looking at 1983. Yeah, 1983 technology, but this was really great stuff. Very well made. Consider the equipment after all these years is still holding up. You were not good at this. No, I, I'm not. I'm just... Well, you got 26,000 oh, rolls. Here. here we go. Watch this. Highest 29. Here. Okay, here we go. Now, is that the left hand? Yep. The weapons man. You got to get on here. Now you get it. Yep, left side. Your missiles. See, now he's got the missiles. Here it is. Oh. Oh, well. Demolished. Gave it all back. Hey! I did good. This man did a good job. Vince, Todd, you'll, do nice the next, you'll do the next cockpit game? Yes, sir. He's going to be back. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> How about buying a real arcade game for your house? My daughter Tammy will show you all about it. Have you ever thought of owning your own video arcade game? Well, come to TNT Amusements. We've got plenty of them. We have a hundred different machines for sale in our Southampton PA showroom. Where can you find classics like Galaxian and Mortal Kombat? Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Stargate. Oh, and we have Pinball. If you get tired of your game, we guarantee you generous trade-in credit. How about buying your very own shuffle bowling alley? Woo! Oh, I love touchscreen games. How about buying your very own bubbler jukebox that holds 500 CDs? It's electric! And all of our machines come with TNT Amusement's exclusive Find Your Service Plan. Go to our website for prices and more info, tntamusements.com. We're in the yellow pages under amusement. Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.